All right, let's see if I can position the camera in a way you guys can see me do some work for a change. Uh, I'll spin it a little bit. Okay. Put your gloves on. Eh? The gloves messed up. Put your gloves on. This stuff can get nasty. So, when I'm doing brake lines and stuff, the stuff is going to get me really dirty. I try to put on my gloves. That way, my hands stay pretty much clean. One less thing to do to clean up, you know? Alright. <clears throat> So you take your brake line and you put it in the holder for the brake line. You take your fitting here and you just measure, make sure you have enough. Probably about a three sixteenths of an inch from the top. You want the brake line peeking out about three sixteenths from the top of the holder. Okay, so you tighten it down. I use a big screwdriver here and I really tighten it down hard. Okay. Now you want to remount the hole with your reamer. Take your fitting. And you shove it in the hole. And you put your compressor on it. Your brake line compressor. And just make sure it's nice and level. What I mean by level, I mean make sure that this part is straight up and down on it. You don't want it at an angle. If it's on an angle, brake line's gonna be messed up. Now you tighten it down. Press it, take the brake line off, take the fitting out, looks like a good flare, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a minute, and then you take your compressor tool again, And you put the point of the compression tool in the, in the pipe. Again, make sure it's nice and flat. Nice and straight, I mean. And you tighten it down again. Came out pretty good. Let me show you. See? Looks pretty good. Hopefully you guys can see that because I can't. See if you guys can see that. So. Uh, get the camera back to work. Go. Release the tool. That holds it. Oh, back's hurt a little bit today. Take fitting. You're supposed to put your fitting on before. 
you flare the brake blind, but if you got a spool, you can just make the fitting go round and round on the spool like I'm doing to get the fitting at the right location. This is just regular 3 16 brake line, but it's not the normal 3 16 brake line. It's copper nickel. Take some brake fluid, some carb, clean it off. Okay, now. Now you give your back a rest. Take your brake line. To me, I just bend it with my fingers. If I can get it close, which I know I can. This one here, I'm gonna have to guess to where to cut it. So I got my thumb where I think it would be cut. And you put your pipe cutter on there. And you'd always give yourself a little extra because you kind of bend it out of the way. And you guys that have been making brake lines for a long time know what I'm talking about. Around, twist it, spin around a little bit more, twist it, a little bit more. Okay. You take you might as well remount the hole right here. Put your fitting on so you don't forget it. Uh, see, it went just like that. It's about the same level. I'll try and go a little bit more. Get off. Get off. Get her down. Brake tool, clean off some brake clean. Shove it in the hole. Take your compressing tool. Yeah, okay, lined up, make sure it's nice and straight. down good 
gotta compress more. This one might come out a little bit weird. Came out good. You repunch it with the same tool that you compressed it with. Make sure it's nice and level. Crank her down. Get it pretty close if you adjust. Your clamping device. This is not bad. No, just YouTube. Talking to YouTube? Yeah, making a video. You're gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> My neighbor. All right. This one didn't come out that bad. See? Too shaky. Came out pretty good. Okay, and you just continue with the process. Which should be good. I'll have to adjust a little bit. Take some anti seize on the threads this way if you ever have to take it apart again you can I put anti-seize on everything okay there's a brake line what do you think huh pretty nice Let's see if it fits all my truth is right here Get my dad's t-shirt out of the way. Screw 
Move right in. Excuse me. It's a little crude. Drift on over here, it's raining out. It's good. There, I'll show you. Whoop. Can't even see what I'm spinning in there. Here. Huh? Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can't anything. Can't can't see. Hands in the way. There you go. Crank it down. And this one. Uh oh. And that's it. That brake line's done. Got a bleeder in. Goes around, new brake hose, new brake line, new brake line, new brake hose, new brake line right here. So, yeah, you know, this mess here, I gotta clean up. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta make sure that thing's all the way in. You guys can kind of see it.
Oh. You can kind of see what I'm working on here. I'll get it in there. Alright, see you in a bit. Mr. Nepcovera over and out.